In this video, we will learn how to fix api-ms-win-go-console-l220.dll is missing from your computer on Windows 10. So let's begin. So to solve this DLL error, just go in the description and there will be a link to this site. Just go here and open this website. So once you are here, what you need to do is you need to download the 32-bit file as well as the 64-bit file of this specific DLL. So here make sure that you have the same versions. So here we have same versions files of 32-bit as well as 64-bit. So we will be downloading first the 32-bit file. So the download will start in few seconds. So here it has down started, go back and now download the 64-bit file of the same version. So you can see the same version is here, just go and download the 64-bit file. Meanwhile, we need to check what kind of system we have. Either it is 32-bit or 64-bit. For that, just go to your file explorer. And here, go to your this PC. Right-click it, go to properties. And against the system type, you can see I have 64-bit system. So you can see what kind of system you have. In this video, we will solve the problem for 32-bit as well as 64-bit operating systems. Now go to your downloads. Here we have the files. This one is 32-bit. This one is 64-bit. So we will extract both the files. Extract them. Like this one. Now extract the 64-bit file. So here we are. Now, first we will solve the problem for 32-bit operating system. For 32-bit operating system, go to your 32-bit folder copy the 32-bit DLL file, copy it, go to your local disk C and here go to Windows. Now scroll down below and search for System32. So here we have System32, open it and paste the 32-bit DLL file here. Paste it here, click on continue. So here we are. Now we have solved the problem for 32-bit operating systems. Now we will solve the problem for 64-bit operating system. For 64-bit operating systems, first go to your 32-bit DLL folder, copy the 32-bit DLL file, copy it, and go back to your Windows folder in local disk C. Now search for this WoW64 folder, here we have, open it, and paste the 32-bit DLL file here. If the instructions seem confusing, I would paste all the instructions in the description so you can see them. Click on continue. Go back. Now, go to your 64-bit folder. Here we are. Copy the 64-bit DLL file and go to your Windows folder in local disk C and paste the 64-bit DLL file in system32. Paste it here click on continue so now we have solved the problem for 64 bit operating systems as well so hope it has helped you but before you go please like subscribe and share thank you